When we're talking about lightweight, compact, foldable pack saws, silky saws are what come to mind. In the past, we reviewed the Gumboy 210. I totally love this thing. Great performance for under 50 bucks. Loved so much so that we had it bind up recently in a piece of wood. Didn't realize it and snapped the tip off just slightly, but still kicking. No problem at all. And so because of my love for the Gumboy, I wanted to see what else was out there. Kind of in that same price range, under $50 for that folding pack saw. And uh, Silky makes the F180. And so I went out, purchased this guy. We're going to take a look at how it performs compared to its big brother, the Gumboy 210, and discuss a lot of things because the 210 has medium teeth. The F180 has uh, large teeth. It's lighter weight. It's a little bit more compact, and it's about $10 cheaper, coming in around $30 to $35 versus the $45 price point. Now, throughout this video, we will have links in the description below over to Amazon. That's a great way to help support the channel when you guys use those hyperlinks. So at the end of this video, if one of these two saws stand out, to you you guys use those helps me get out here buy items just like this and give you guys full comprehensive videos so with that let's get to work and see how these guys perform So I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. We will be hopping back out there uh, to wrap up and really give you kind of a shocking uh, revelation that I had between these two. And we'll discuss all of that in a moment and hop back out there to the woods. But I wanted to bring us in on the tabletop to give us some basic specs, talk about what sets silky saws aside in general and what these have to offer. So the differences between the two will hit first. As we said earlier, price point is a factor, and that's why I wanted to check out the F180 because of its cheaper price point. Uh, there is a weight difference as well. The F180 is going to be about 5.8 ounces, and the Gumboy is going to be about 8.2. So, you know, two and a half ounces. Uh, the other aspect as well is blade lengths. The actual sawtooth edge on the Gumboy is 8 inches. The actual sawtooth edge on the F180 is going to be 7 inches. So, those are 7.5 inches overall length, and then uh, like 8.3, 8 8.4 8 um, on the actual overall length on the Gumboy here as well. So the, that is something to consider, you know, depending on what size logs you're going through, you know, packability, that's an aspect as well. Now, one thing that I want to touch on right out of the gate, the F-180 has a better handle. I really like the handle a lot more. One, the high visibility definitely helps, particularly when you're out there in the woods in snow, like what we were dealing with. You know, this is very visible. You're not going to leave it there at your campsite after hanging out or you know, spending the day or whatever you're doing. So uh, that's a big plus. And just the way that they've contoured it, makes it really nice so that you have lots of these little grooves, nice rubberized piece right, right here, really solid. And if I need to choke up and just kind of do a, a, a finer, shorter cut, it's got plastic and so more ergonomic all the way through its handle here. Lots of different portions and lots of different areas for me to grab onto so I can really get the right leverage depending on the, the angle of the wood and thickness and just all of that. The Gumboy doesn't quite offer that. It's very comfortable, very ergonomic, as long as you hold it in this one position right here. But if you feel like you need to choke up maybe to get you know more control over a particular cut you're doing, you have this big hunking piece of metal that's got some really thin edges in here that's just not very comfortable or ergonomic compared to the plastic that we're looking at the entire way throughout this F-180. And it's basically just a one grip option. You can't really choke up or, cho or, or fall back, you know, depending on what you need to do if you're reaching up really high, maybe just different things. It doesn't give you a lot of options. It's basically boom, grab right here. That's all you're working with. Whereas the F-180 gives you a lot more options and it's more of a sweeping motion. Whereas this is more of a straight off the back, you know, type of angle and motion to the handle. So I like the handle more on the F-180. Now, the other aspect that really sets silky saws aside from other folding saws that are out there like this, particularly I'm thinking like the Baco Laplander, love that saw for 20 bucks. It's a great compact pack saw, love it. But the silky saws 
uh, beat it in performance and functionality, and this is why. The, the locking mechanism, which is kind of like a lock back, think of, you know, like a, a buck knife or something like that. You have your first angle, which is what you'll see with almost every, you know, type of folding saw, um, you know, just depending on what you're looking at. The bonus is that these have a canter, so you, you know, disengage it again, and now you can cock it to an angle that when a log is near the ground is very, very ergonomic and really alleviates pressure on your wrist and gives you better angle better control over the saw. So I use this canter usually when with majority of the shots that you saw, the, the wood is close to the ground, we've fallen a tree, we've dragged a log over, you know, which is what you're going to do most of the time, particularly for fire, um, you know, building and that type of thing. Uh, and really, I only use it in the natural, you know, first location when I'm either sawing down a tree that's standing, or if there are branches that attach to a standing tree that I use this type of angle. That canter is a huge lifesaver for extended sawing motion. So I totally love that. The other aspect are the blades. You know, they're made out of SK5 steel. Uh, again, the, these saws are, you know, made in Japan. So that Japanese quality for all their bonsai trees and all, all that stuff. But uh, the SK5 steel and just the, the teeth dimensions that they give us with both of these saws is really nicely done. I, I really like it a lot. And it just seems to outperform other folding saws. Corona, the Bajo, the uh, Laplander, th those type of saws. They're more around the $20 price point that I've tested out and reviewed. These silkies uh, do a better job. They go through the material quicker, and I really like that aspect a lot. So now as we begin to transition back out to the woods and give you my, my thoughts on this, what, what we're going to find out is the, the teeth. And, and the rule with saws is kind of like this. The larger the tooth and the larger the spacing, the greener the wood should be. So if you have large teeth and the, the spacing is pretty wide in between, that means that you're usually you know, grooming and pruning live trees. If it's uh, closer together, the teeth are smaller, then you're looking at more hardwood, and we were you know, mostly dealing with hardwood. And so just to give you some perspective here, the um, red-handled version of the F-180 is the large teeth. I guess there's a yellow-handled version. I didn't even know that um, until after I purchased this and was beginning to do a lot more research in preparation for this video. That is a fine-tooth version. I've never seen it, but I, I guess if you hunt around, maybe you can find one. So the large tooth, so some, supposedly this would be good for more green uh, wood, and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. And the, the spacing here on this is that uh, f you get 6.5 teeth for every inch or 7.5 teeth per 30 millimeters. So that's what we're looking at here on the F-180. Whereas this is a, a medium toothed version of the Gumboy 210, you can get some different teethed versions out there, uh, meaning that this has 8.5 teeth per inch or 10 teeth per 30 millimeters. So they're closer together, they're a little bit shorter. Uh, you're gonna get more teeth per inch than you would on the F-180, which would mean in concept, I should expect to see better uh, saw performance out of the Gumboy going through hardwoods faster than on the F-180. But let's go ahead and transition back and discuss my experience uh, out there in the woods on two separate treks with these same tools and what I discovered. Yeah. Ha! Okay, that doesn't work. I was hoping I was gonna have some folding knife action with you guys here. So now we have busted these out on several trips, gotten a really good feel for it, uh, taking up the same location a couple times. And uh, you know, the, the Gumboy 210 has been around for quite a while in the collection and the F-180 is new to the collection and uh, I was expecting to see a pretty significant difference, and I did not. Uh, they're very, very similar, even though the Gumboy is a medium teeth and the 180 is large teeth. From all of the dried out hardwoods that we're using, you know, we're doing, going through like pine and that type of stuff, but it's dried out, you know, it's hard. Um, I, I don't see really any speed difference. And I think if I had to choose, if you're like, dude, I need to pick, I want a silky saw, do I go with a 210, do I go with a 180? Uh, I would say save the money and go with the 180. You're gonna get almost the exact same you know, performance. You're getting just a slightly shorter blade and you're gonna save yourself uh, you know, 10 to 15 bucks and, and you're getting that silky quality and performance. So that would be my two cents. That's really what I see. I was hoping for a, a more drastic difference between the two, but I just didn't really see that uh, in their performance as well as their design. So uh, I hope that helped you guys out. Uh, you know, we're basically kind of like ho-hum. 
Um, but you know, they're both great saws and just depending on, you know, other little aspects and details that we've gone through, you know, maybe weight is a huge issue, you know, then, so it's this guy, you know, or maybe blade length is a huge issue. So maybe it's the 210, you know, it, it go, it goes like that. So I hope this video has helped you out decide which of these two saws is the better one to go with possibly to save yourself some money or if dropping the extra money for the extra little features um, of the 210 is worth it. Uh, finally, always remember guys to check us out on all the relevant social media. That's a great way to see what's up and coming, projects that we're working on. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.